Hi, so welcome to week seven prep videos. I first of all just wanted to say thank you so much for everybody that has watched the first one. This week has been a really positive week all in all. I have no complaints. I got a refeed on Saturday so that did me the world of good. I'm feeling strong and really good so I'm hoping that more weeks like this are to come. Please feel free again to drop any comments of what you'd like to hear about, what you want to know and I'll try and cover that in my next video next week. So this week has been seven weeks out. This video will show you a little bit about what I eat on a non-training day, a little bit about the mobility that I do on a daily basis and just some other bits and bobs about cravings and what I've been doing this week. Hope you're enjoying, thank you so much for watching and we are nearly at six weeks down. Yeah. We had a good check-in today, so I get a cheat meal. It happens every now and again. Buzzing! I had my check-in yesterday. It went really well. John is really happy with the progress that we're making. We didn't lose too much weight this week, but everything just seems to be getting quite tight and um, looking really good. So no complaints there. There's been no movement in my food, which is amazing. We've just upped to cardio for five minutes every day. So six days a week, we do an hour of cardio. And then on my non-training day, I'm doing 20 minutes of cardio. So really happy and looking forward to showing you the journey of this week. So I'm just coming to bed for a little nap. One thing that I'm finding really hard at the moment is just how tired I am. I've been in a calorie deficit since January. It's just exhausting having to do everything every day. Non-training days, I try to just do normal life things like tidy my house and hoover and various things like that and it's just exhausting so I'm just trying to take as much time as possible to rest and let my body recover in between training days. Today I decided to mix it up and have my mince for my last meal. So I fried lots of veg together, added my mince and then used a skinny tomato and a skinny barbecue sauce and made a bit of a chilli with my potatoes so feeling quite happy about that today. So at the moment in my current job, so I work for a hospice, we as a fundraising team have retrained a Covid test so that we're making sure that visitors and patients and staff are safe. On a Monday and Friday, I have to be in work for about half six, quarter to seven. So it means that I have to do a quarter to five get up to do my cardio. And then pretty much just eat out of Tupperware dishes all day. I'm currently sat in Tesco car park eating my third meal, ready to go and smash my steps off. One thing people don't really talk about is how much food you've got to eat. I'm constantly cooking, constantly weighing out my food, eating out of Tupperware dishes. I just can't wait to be able to cook a proper meal that isn't mince or potatoes and salmon. So I've got a couple of days off work this week, um, which is nice. So I have decided to come walking. I'm currently up Healy now. It's great where I live. We are so close to so many different kinds of walks and nature reserves and things like that. So it really mixes things up that I can go different places and get my steps in um, while doing covid rules i can really tell now that it's coming in on my face um, i've started getting lines which is a bit strange it's really beautiful up here and you can see for absolutely miles it's normally quite quiet which i really enjoy it just gives me a bit of headspace sometimes to collect my thoughts do a bit of meditation and just enjoy the nature and what's around me i've got another day off work today the sun's out, it is definitely starting to feel like summer is coming, which is great. I'm just having my morning coffee and then I'm doing a check-in with Emma Hyman. After my refeed on Saturday night, I'm definitely feeling more positive and more upbeat. So far this week, we're now halfway through the week and I'm feeling really good. Feeling very strong and very confident in the process and the journey. Hopefully it continues for the rest of the week. Since starting prep, I've not really done much playing the guitar, so um, it because prep's basically taken over my whole life. So tonight, I've decided that I'm gonna play a bit of guitar. Jolene. training day.
day, so I get an extra egg white but no bagel, so I normally make myself a omelette and also I get oats, so this morning I am having baked oats, which is 20 grams of oats, half a scoop of protein powder and um, a little bit of baking powder and then I just put some maple syrup on it and I get myself a good hearty breakfast. On non-training days I also mix it up and I can have chicken, salt and pepper chips which is basically just potatoes fried in low calorie oil, onions, spring onions, chilli and then chicken and mushrooms with a skinny barbecue sauce. Having abs is really cool but so is eating cake and cheese and chocolate. Somebody on Instagram asked me about my cravings, so I thought that I would just tell you a little bit about where I'm at with those. Sometimes I crave the weirdest things, like the other day I was really craving beans and chicken nuggets, and I've probably eaten that maybe 10 times in my whole life. But the things that I'm missing the most is definitely cheese. I was having like 30% lighter cheese on my non-training days, but that got took out probably about three weeks ago. Just like really rich food, I really miss pasta. I also, I just really miss sweet things. I have my Cocoa Pops and that kind of ticks the box for a little while, but I'd love nothing more than a full family size sticky toffee pudding with a load of salted caramel ice cream. What I'm gonna do in my next video is just show you some of the things that I do eat and create to try and curve those sweet cravings. I've watched videos of other bodybuilders making cakes out of protein powder and various different things. Next week I'll include those in my video and you can have a look what I am doing to stop those sweet cravings. I really want just, you know, just a bit of normality and a bit of normal food that doesn't taste like hot sauce and salmon and potatoes. The thing that makes it easier is it's not forever so we're now just over six weeks to go and it'll soon be here and then I can eat whatever I want for a while. <laughs> So that's it, we are done for another week of prep files. That was my seven week out week. So as of tomorrow, we will be six weeks out, which is really exciting and it's starting to get super real. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen and please pop in any comments what you'd like to see next week. And that's it from me and my skinny face.